hi everybody welcome back to my youtube channel this is another long awaited shein haul my last shein haul was like maybe almost two months ago maybe two months ago and i'm wearing one of the tops that i had um unboxed and i did more hauls after that in case you didn't see those you can go check them out but there's nothing quite like my first Shein haul that I did, and I was very excited for that. Um, and it definitely was a, um, it was not a disappointment. I was not disappointed. I was very much satisfied, and I thought that it was totally worth the price. Um, so I ended up getting another Shein package about a week ago, and now I wanted to do that. So without further ado you guys let's get straight on with the video so so right now i'm in my little victoria's secret uh pajama pants and then it comes with this top i just wanted to show you guys that real quick but we're gonna start off with a first outfit let's go right into it okay you guys so here is the first fit Honestly, I was not sure how to put this on, but here it is. Oh, oh, wow, wonderful, guys. I don't understand what's going on with this skirt. Um, it's very tight, that's for sure. I got, I think I got, I don't know what size I got. I'm pretty sure I got an extra small, but it might be an extra, extra small. So this skirt is really tight on me, as you can see. I don't know if you can see the marking but it's like literally squeezing my thigh like an elastic like I actually think there's a, an elastic band here but it's not very elastic so it's just I don't know what it is it's a rope but besides the uncomfortableness about the skirt I think this was definitely a success I think this one was not a fail I think this one was very nice this was a Guys, I don't even know the word. Why don't you comment down below the word that I'm looking for? This is a big problem for me. I feel very embarrassed. I feel very dumb. Why can't I figure out the word that I want to say about this outfit? Anyways, here is the outfit. So I will be keeping this because I am going to return some of this if it doesn't fit. Oh, guys. Okay. Next. Okay, next is this very beautiful, what I thought looked to be very beautiful in the picture dress. Um, do I still think it looks beautiful? I mean, somewhat. Maybe it's just for girls with bigger boobs, maybe, because it flatters them more up here. It's not very flattering for me, but it's cute. I like it. It fits nice. It fits snag, snug, whatever um the back looks good this is this is nice this is good for a party this is like acceptable this is appropriate for a party um excuse me i'm trying to get you guys good angles of this um i don't know i i really do like this i just there's something i don't like about it and i don't know what it is but um i i think we'll just say we're keeping it so i came to switch the angle because i don't know i feel like i'm a little bit far but the lighting is not as good as so i'm gonna just bounce back and forth okay mm -hmm. take it in so this is one of the dresses but these are one of the dresses that you just can't figure out like i just don't understand like this looks normal from the back so how would I wear this on the front? Like, what is this strap for? I thought about putting it over my head. It didn't work. I don't know, guys. Help me figure this one out. Okay, I didn't really figure out the way to wear this, but I did make it into my own little thing. Besides this in the bag, I'm going to figure it out, you guys. I'm going to figure it out on a different time, different occasion, but 
Hey, look what I made it into. It's like a little disco girl party thing, right? Right, right, right? Okay, so obviously this is very pretty on camera, I think. It's very nice on camera. Um, you know, it's very appealing to the eye, but in person it's a little bit weird. I will say the least. It's not like terrible and it's not the worst thing ever. It's just a little bit see-through. I don't know if you can see my panties. They're purple. Um, <laughs> I don't know if you can see them on camera, but definitely in person this is see-through. I do love the back. It shows a nice, nice view of your back. Nice visual. And this is the front. I really, I really like this. It's like a um, it reminds me of the olden times when they had the corsets that were like this. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about. Maybe I'll insert a picture, maybe not. The girls that know will know, the girls that won't, we'll find out. <laughs> Book around and find out. Anyways, I do really love this dress a lot um, and I love the slits. Just make sure you're wearing black panties with it. And if you're wearing no panties, you're out of luck, dude, because the whole thing is gonna be exposed, but yeah. I love it. I love this dress, y'all. This is definitely a cop, a keep, a win. A 10 out of 10. On to the next. So obviously, I was definitely nervous for this one, before, kind of for this reason, because this dress looked like extra tight on the model and it's like just not that tight on me. Um, or maybe it's just like a little bit wrinkly in some areas a little bit baggy but I feel like these glasses definitely add to the look like this dress is a very gorgeous color there's a cat outside of my window and I like the little cross body straps on the back but um it's not the best looking dress like this can probably go back can maybe be returned I'm not sure I'm just not sure. These are always like a hit or miss because they look really pretty on camera, but then you get them and they're just like, mm, meh, they're mid. I don't know, guys. Do you guys like this? Help me decide if I should keep this one or not. Maybe if I have a bra, it will uplift my boobs. I have no idea, you guys, to be honest. I like the color. I liked the idea but it's not kind, It's not what I envisioned exactly. But if you guys like it, let me know and I probably will keep it. So yeah, I don't know. This one's a uh, not sure. This one's a unsure not meets in the middle kind of type thing. Okay, next. Okay, this was another one that I didn't know if I was gonna hit or miss on because I've seen a lot of people try to duplicate White Fox Boutique, which is kind of what this is, but they actually did a very good job, and I don't have a white one. I actually only have yellow, blue, pink, red. No, I'm just kidding. I do have all those colors, but I'm just saying, like, I don't have white, and I didn't know if this was going to be really good or not when I originally unopened it. Um, what the fuck? Why did I just say unopened? That's not a word. Originally, let me put on my glasses so I can become just a tint more intelligent. See, I already used... A little analogy right there can't i use them for whatever the hell that word would be anyways originally when i unboxed or opened this package i looked at this article of clothing and i was like mm, i don't know i don't know this might be a hit or miss because it's looking a little bit big but actually it was not big it's actually pretty tight and i really like it and i really like the three jewels here and i'm really loving this whole look so this is definitely a cop. This is definitely... I can't wait to keep it. I love this dress. So adorable and such a good... You look like what White Fox Boutique is. Yeah, I love it. On to the next. Okay, actually, so I think this is the last dress. I did all the dresses first because I mostly got dresses. But the next things I got were like bathing suits and some sets. Just like two sets and a shirt. Um, but yo, tell me why... These are literally, they're literally extra small and they look like they're a medium. I swear these are not the correct sizes or they're just liars or they just don't know how to measure people. 
I don't know. Okay, you guys, so this was the set that I was just talking about that I was like, mm, how are those shorts like an extra small? This literally looks like a medium, but I guess the whole idea of this set was the scrunch and the tie and the, the way it ruffles here up like that. So I guess it had to be made like that, although they could be a little bit tighter. I mean, it, I think it looks good actually. So I'm not complaining actually. I, I, I really do like this set. I liked it when I saw it and I, li I like it on my body now. <laughs> so this is definitely a cop. This is definitely a keep. This is definitely a success. This is definitely a 10 out of 10. And I really love the sleeves. I just love this whole set all together. I feel like it's very much sunshine girl, very nice and happy and sunflowerish and everything you can think of that makes you happy and pure. And I know these glasses are gonna add, yep, yep. This is so adorable, so cute guys. I love it, I love it. This was definitely like i don't know i was definitely i had my worries so uh, this actually turned out really well thank god thank the lord so i don't know if you can tell like maybe you can tell that this is not a set on its own <laughs> i picked it out to match together so i saw the shorts originally i was like oh my gosh look at those shorts those are so freaking cute i just love the set can i tie it <gasps> i can tie it Oh my gosh, that looks better too. I just saw it and I was like, oh my gosh, that's so freaking adorable. The girl had like a gigantic booty and I was like, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's the one for me because I have a big butt, but no boobs. So I try to get things that are gonna match on my body, which was another thing I wanted to mention about the previous set, but I forgot to and didn't mention. Um, I feel like Shein definitely like makes sure, like makes sure that make sure that makes sure that the uh, top is like the proper size like if it's extra small it's not gonna fit a freaking 34b girl but if it is like a medium it's gonna fit that 34b but it's not gonna fit the 32a but i feel like with the bottom they kind of just like they're like okay like if they have a fat ass it'll fit into their fat ass and if they don't have a fat ass they can just tie in the shorts kind of with some of these sets more specifically that yellow set but low key, I feel bad for a girl that doesn't have a big butt because then it will kind of just be baggy. So girls with the smaller butts, just make sure you get that extra, extra small. Or I don't know, whatever your size is. I still get extra small and I think my butt is big, okay? Please don't come for me. I just, I can think what I want to think, all right? I think my butt is big, all right? On to the next. I didn't really even talk about this outfit. I love the mesh. And originally it was a bathing suit top with something like, just like a little piece like that. So this would be the bathing suit top and then this was like the other piece. So I just found a top that was like that, that could also go with other things. So I'm not just buying it like only specifically, like if I buy a bathing suit top, it's gonna have to only be a bathing suit top worn at the pool. But this top can be worn with many other things like jeans, jean shorts, to the beach anywhere so i just make sure that i buy things that are inclusive and that can have you know different variety uh, um, of locations like you can wear it to a different variety of locations and yeah look at the little heart so speaking of tops don't let her in please she's fucking crazy so speaking of tops um i've been wanting a top like this for a while this is the next top i'm going to show you guys that i bought that i'm going to wear um but I've been wanting a top like this for a while, but it's still not exactly what I want. This is like, it's like this, but like a mix. Like I wanted it to be, you know, just a low sleeve with like a collar. <sighs> it's so hard to explain. Maybe some puff sleeves. I don't know what I want, to be honest. I'm very indecisive, you know. If you're indecisive like me, you should definitely let me know so I don't feel so alone, okay? Thanks, let's try on this shirt. Okay, so you see this top, compared to the other one, it's a little bit more classy in my opinion. Um, the other top was like less classy because it was mesh and I know some of you guys are gonna be like mm, Do you even know what classy is like that is the complete opposite of classy? But actually it's not this is very classy um, Especially if you pair it up with a jacket and jeans 
it could be pasta's classy, definitely, 100%. It's black, it has a nice uh, design here, and it's buttons, not really buttons, but button-like. It has this collar, and I absolutely love the top. I think it's gorgeous. Also, I think you guys would think that I'm absolutely crazy on how I'm filming this haul, because literally, I've been changing, like, I'm gonna have that moment that you see in movies where it's like the girl is changing and the guy next door like looks over and he can see her and her bra like that's gonna be me but not really because i am changing with the freaking i saw that you disgusting pervert you disgusting pervert you know i'm literally changing with the window open but that's because nobody ever comes around and we literally live in like an area where it's like nobody's walking by you know people do walk on the sidewalk out there like i'll show you so right there is like where people walk and there's my sign of jesus okay almost committed a sin and i feel really bad about it and people that are christians please let me know if you still get a repercussion for almost falling into the temptation because i didn't fall into the temptation i didn't fall for it um i almost did but i didn't i stopped myself like i stopped myself in my tracks and i was like no not doing that so Usually, though, I know that if you fall into the temptation, there is a punishment for it because you have to know that, like, going against God is wrong. So falling into that sin leads to going against God, and then there's a repercussion or a punishment. I think it's just, like, the absence of God because if you fall into sin, then you're far away from God because you're not close to Him because if you're close to Him, you don't necessarily, like, you would call out to Him all these things that would maybe prevent you from sinning. So... I understand that but then if I don't fall into the sin and I'm almost like there like my foot is off like hanging off the cliff but I backtrack and I put my foot back on the mountain or the hill or whatever put my foot back on the floor then am I still gonna get a repercussion for that because I didn't fall into sin but I was about to please let me know guys makes me very anxious very worried that could also be from the enemy just trying to torment my mind because I didn't fall into temptation just let me know guys because I didn't but I almost did, so I'm worried now. <laughs> Please help. Okay, so now for the last few articles of clothing, I'm gonna be doing the bathing suits. So when I saw this bathing suit, I thought it was really cute. Um, it did look a little bit big when it arrived, but for some reason, all of these clothes are looking like really humongous when they arrive, but when I put them on my body, it fits. So I'm not getting it. Is it my body or is it like, can these clothes freaking shake shift? Like what the hell? So I thought this was cuter online <laughs> it's okay from like the side but it's not that cute guys i don't like it that much and it's see it is a little bit big in the back like a better bathing suit would be scrunched obviously against your skin as tight as possible um i do really like the bows it's cute it's a cute little look but overall it's not my fave but i'm saving the last for best the best for last y'all give me a break <laughs> Oh my gosh, I don't know what I'm saying. But I just got an idea for this swimsuit. Oh my gosh. Yep. That's it right there. That is the IG photo. No. Yeah. And look at these little fringes here. These are definitely artsy bathing suits. They're not just like, I'm trying to swim. This is like, I want people to look at me bathing suit. <sighs> or I don't mind the attention, bathing suit. I don't care if people stare at me, bathing suit. And these accessories definitely add volumes. Guys, look how I just made this bathing suit go from a like five to a 10. I don't know guys, I don't know. I think I did, I don't know actually, I'm not sure. I'm back to, I'm having second thoughts. <laughs> I'm doubting it. Okay, anyways, let's go on to the next swimsuit, the last piece of clothing from this haul. Okay, I saved the best for last. Happy 4th of July, you guys. Oh my gosh. I specifically ordered this bikini, and guess what? It arrives the day before the 4th of July. Gotta love America, y'all. And for all my Americans, you definitely should love this, because I'm literally wearing the American flag right now. Look at that. And don't think I'm done there. I got the hat. And... Don't think that I'm done here either. I have the boots. I have the boots, y'all. I'm really going all out with this 4th of July look. Which, by the way, 
the current time that I'm filming this is not 4th of July. So I take that back. But um, <laughs> it will be 4th of July tomorrow. And you know what? I'm getting deja vu right now because two years ago, I think, or three years ago, I wore a American flag uh, bathing suit with glasses on and I took a picture in the mirror. So that's really weird that I just did that. But y'all, I really love this and I just wanted to show you guys this one as the last one because I think it's so cute. And yeah, I think I'm definitely keeping this for all the next 4th of July's. Um, yeah guys, I'm definitely keeping this. I think this Shein haul was definitely a big success, dude, because um, I absolutely loved everything, except for one, it was probably the uh, weird one that I said looked like a club one that just did not turn out that well, but everything else did, including this bathing suit, so now I have something to wear tomorrow. Also, this could still work. I know y'all are not fucking feeling this headband, but I am. I truly am. I don't know why. It's just like, I fucking love it. Excuse my language. I really freaking love it. Um, and it definitely matches the red, and it's just giving me all the American vibes, okay? Oh, there, Waldo. Y'all, I feel like one of those body um, builder flexors, those guys. So cute, you guys. I really love it. And I'm really loving this natural look, too, because I was going to put on a bunch of makeup for this video, but I just did eyeliner and mascara. Um, and I'm, I'm satisfied with my choices. I'm glad I did. Okay. Still a, still a, bo still a body. Still a body, y'all. Ow! Oh my gosh, I just hit my fucking tailbone on the pole. That is terrible. Anyways, that is it for today's YouTube video. If you guys enjoyed this YouTube video, make sure you give it a huge thumbs up. Also, do not forget to click that subscribe button down below while you're at it. I had so much fun making this video, and I feel like this was definitely a success. I felt like I was not disappointed um, with most of these outfits from Shein. I think they were all definitely what they were, what they looked like on the website, you know? They, they were true. Um, yeah, if you liked any of these clothes, let me know which ones you like the most, and I will be doing more of these videos, so make sure you don't forget to subscribe down below. I love you so much. Jesus loves you. God loves you. I love you. And I will see you guys in the next video. And the Holy Spirit loves you. Let the Holy Spirit guide you. Thank you so much for watching. Happy 4th. Have a nice day. Goodbye.